Hi, my name's Chris. Um, I'm going to do now the last part of my Redbubble tagging uh, video series. And I'm going to look at the very last field that we need to fill in uh, when we upload a design to Redbubble. And this is a field that many people think is not very important. Um, but, uh, well, I personally believe it is uh, one of the keys to success on Redbubble. So let's take a look. As before, I have um, written out a few uh, placeholders here in the description field just to show you the kind of information that I usually put in w when I write my descriptions. Um, they, Google likes to have at least uh, 130 characters to chew on to understand uh, your page, and uh, but there's a maximum limit of 256 characters in Redbubble. So these are basically the limits that we have uh, when it comes to writing our description field. Uh, so the first thing that uh, we need to do when we write the description, or at least this is what I do, and many people have different ways of writing descriptions, but uh, uh, this is, as I say, this is what I'm going to do. Um, the first thing that I want to do over here is I want to have a description of my product. Now we've been working with this uh, this lop-eared uh, rabbit uh, idea uh, for the other tags in the in this video series. So here's my description. Uh, it basically is fairly keyword packed, but I've written it uh, in the best kind of English I can find. Fun hand-drawn sketch of a young cute furry lop-eared bunny rabbit. So we've got bunny rabbit, lop-eared, furry, uh, we've got the ever-present cute, um, the fact it's hand-drawn and a sketch and, and uh, we've sort of packed in the information that we need. Remember this goes with a title in Google. Now one of the interesting things about descriptions is that Google doesn't use them for ranking in search results. However, Google does know about this text. You could, for example, if you type in young, cute, furry, lop-eared, bunny rabbit as a, as a, a search on Google, uh, if Google has read this page and put it into its memory, uh, it, it will find that information. So it is possible to do searches on descriptions, even though they don't really help us uh, with our page rank. Um, then I'll, after I've written that description, uh, I, I like to have uh, a description of who, of, of where this design looks best. Now, some designs look best as posters and photographic prints. Some designs look better as t-shirts and stickers. Uh, it varies from design to design with what uh, I write here. But basically, I want to make a list of the things that people could buy if they come from Google and click through to uh, my page. Uh, the last part of my description uh, of, is the <coughs> a description of who the design is actually for. Here you can see I've packed in yet more keywords, perfect for rabbit pet owners, bunny fans, anyone who loves their floppy. Um, again, I'm, I'm basically just trying to give hits. Now, uh, the keywords that I'm using here uh, are just like before when we had the tags field and the title field. We're trying to optimize the numbers of combinations of words uh, that could possibly be hit in a search. Now, the very, very last thing that I put into my description uh, is actually the address of my shop. Uh, it's not uh, a link um, and I'm not quite sure whether or not this is even worthwhile or if I'm just uh, wasting my time here. Not entirely sure. Uh, perhaps uh, anyone who really knows could leave a comment in uh, below this video uh, to tell me whether or not this is just wasted characters. But I like to do it. It, it sort of feels a, a way of completing my description. Uh, if I do a search here, uh, a, a check here, I can see that I've got 253 characters, which is just under the 256 character limit, 
which means that it will be displayed completely uh, in Redbubble on the product page. Okay, this was um, just how I do descriptions. Uh, again, I think this for me, this is the one, this is the field where I'm still uh, not entirely sure. Um, and I've basically been taking a lot of tips from other people on the internet, um, particularly my friend Brian Abella. Uh, if you can find lots of his videos on YouTube, one of the best uh, Redbubble YouTube streamers uh, that you can find. Watch his videos. They're packed with information and they're very, very good for uh, new Redbubble users. Okay, that's it. I think I've now gone through all the, the possible um, fields that we could uh, fill in when we um, upload our uh, Redbubble product. Um, I, hopefully I've given you lots of tips uh, in this series of videos or at least made you think a bit about what you're doing when you fill in these fields. Um, most of the people who come to us are on the Facebook group called uh, Red Pubble and uh, Tea Public Secrets uh, who have problems with sales have those problems because they're simply not writing decent titles, putting in a good set of tags uh, and writing great descriptions for their products. If only they would spend as much time on those things as they do on designing uh, their, their products, uh, they, would only, they would find that they make many, many more sales. Well, that's it from me in this series. Uh, I will leave down in the uh, description below um, a links to uh, my Redbubble shop where I will put up this design and you can check uh, how I've done the final tagging. You will see there also that I have made multiple versions of the same design and you will see how I've handled that in tagging. And you will also be able to find an alternative design, which is a pattern. Uh, and patterns are quite useful on products like uh, bedding uh, and bags uh, and other things, uh, unlike this design, which was more of a kind of t-shirt sticker kind of design. Uh, in both cases, uh, we can use the same tagging strategy uh, to help us get found. Okay. Uh, I do apologize for the back lighting here. I'm not very good at making videos. I acknowledge that. I just hope that you have found this useful. Maybe someday I'll see you on the Facebook group. Until then, bye for now.